Okay, so about a year ago, I bought this cable tester from Amazon. It's made by Tredix, and it's a really cool little device. Loads of connectivity options on here to test various different cables. And as you can see, the lights illuminate to show what it supports. If I plug in a more advanced USB-C cable, you'll see how much better it can be. There you go, a lot better support on that cable. But there were some comments about not having enough information and not being able to tell how quick it's going to charge and things like that. So Tredix have sent me one of these. And if we plug in a high-end USB-C cable and switch it on, we can see more information. So this is the basic information. So you can see data transmission is supported USB 2 and 3.2 speeds. We also have power transmission USB PD 3.0, but not 3.1. Now if I tap the button on the side here, uh, you can see all the pins that are connected, same as the LED ones earlier on. But also, it tells us how much resistance we've got. And we also get this. So there's a little chip in here that's telling the information. So passive cable, 20 volt, 5 amp, USB 4 Gen 3, capable of up to 40 gigabits per second. If I plug in a more basic cable, now I don't even know where I got this cable. I've obviously never used it. I thought it was an Apple one. So there's no marker on this, so no chip. We can see that the USB speed only goes up to USB 2. Power transmission, yes, but not supporting PD3 or 3.1. That said, even PD1.0 supported up to 60 watts, which is more power than any of my devices can have. It's running off the battery at the moment, so you can see it mutes itself, so you just tap the button to switch it on again. Now, I thought this cable was the same as my charge cable that came with my MacBook Air, which is this one, but it's obviously not, because if I plug it in, we can see that we get USB PD 3.0 support and we've also got USB 2.0 data but still not 3.2 so even though this came with my MacBook Air which at the time they were retailing four years ago they were retailing for a thousand pound they didn't supply a cable that supported up to 3.2 but then again it is a charge cable and where this really shows is with this cable this cable is capable of 240 watts uh, which is pretty amazing. This I thought was the best cable I had and it is for charging but for data it doesn't support USB 3.2 and I knew this because I've tried this uh, with a DisplayPort monitor and it doesn't support it so that was disappointing but it's obviously capable of very very fast charging speeds but you can see some of the other bits are missing and it does have an e-marker and it does talk about 50 volts at 5 amps. So this is the information the cable would tell your device and then allow it to charge at the fastest speeds that it can cope with. And if I plug in this Zyk cable, this is one that came with, oh, wrong, wrong port, uh, which came with a NVMe drive. So USB 2.0 and 3.2 for data. And I know that this does support video mode. Power transmission again, only 3.0, not 3.1. Lots of pins connected, very low resistance. 20 volt, 5 amp is the power that it supports. But it's not just USB-C cables, it also tests other cables as well. Remember mini USB? So just power here, nothing else, no data even on this cable. How about micro USB? So that supports USB 2 speeds as well as power. This connection is micro B, so some Samsung phones had this because micro USB didn't have enough power and data together. But this also works with external drives, like this Seagate one I've got, a four terabyte drive. And good to know that we've got USB 3.2 speeds with this cable. I've had this cable for quite a while now and I often use it because it's convenient and it's easy to find because it's red, but it's only USB 2 speeds. Same with this anchor cable, only USB 2 speeds on this one even though it's a quite a thick braided cable. Apple's lightning cable is supported, and this is USB 2 only, which is fair enough, because that's all lightning supported up to. So let's have a closer look at it. So you can see here, this is the output, so it's got either A or type C USB out, and then you can go in, micro B 2.0, micro B 3.0, type C, USB mini B, and lightning, and then you can power it, 
by either USB-C or the battery that's in the back of it. And as I mentioned before, this is just a AAA, which came supplied. And this is just the power switch and the switch that toggles through the different modes. And if we press the button with the lightning cable attached, we get this information. And this for micro USB. And if we start introducing various different USB hubs, adapters, dongles, things like that. So for instance, we can go micro to USB-C. So I've just created a USB-C to A cable. Which gives me USB 2 speeds and also power. And this adapter converts USB-C to micro, which I use quite a lot, as most of my cables are USB-C now. Yeah, same sort of information, USB 2 and also power. Here's a slightly unusual cable, so this is USB-A to USB-A, which I got with uh, an SSD caddy. But if I put a USB-C on the end of this, what's it going to let me have? So let's pop this one on. And pop it in the USB-C. Okay, so we've got USB 3.2 speeds, that's good to see. Uh, and we've also got power, obviously no power delivery because it's not a proper USB-C cable. But nice to see that USB 3.2 speed. And how about these? So this is the same thing but with a bit of a cable, so USB-A to C. Because I always worry that these aren't very well connected and aren't going to give me very good performance. Ah, there you go. So this didn't give me USB 3.2. That's interesting. So that is better than that cable. It came in a cool set, which is this. Uh, so USB A to C, and again USB A to C. And if I try it with this USB 3 hub, so I know that this doesn't adversely affect things. So we've lost the 3.2 connection there. And that could be a power issue, I guess, because the only power that's using this is the AAA battery. So if I pop that one back in, yeah, we get the full USB 3.2. So these are decent. This adapter is probably only USB 3, so that's why it didn't show up for the USB 3.2 standard. And if I tap the button, what's it going to tell me it is? So it tells me what's connected. I thought it was going to find a chip within this adapter, but there isn't one. And here's a USB A to C converter. So no E marker. We have got USB 3.2 speeds with that, which I'm happy about. Is it going to be the same with this one? Yeah, that one is exactly the same. That also came in that kit before. Looks like you can have too many adapters in the equation. I was trying to find an Amazon link for this, but I actually got it from the TikTok shop. So this cable that's in here uh, got sent to me to power a wireless HDMI adapter. It's a video review I did ages ago. And as you can see, it doesn't support data at all, so it is just a power cable, which has caught me out a few times. I've taken the battery out and I've plugged in this cable that shows how much power a device is using. Obviously not very much at the moment because it's just powering the display. Uh, let's see what happens if we plug a cable in. So it looks like the overall power consumption of the device is very, very low. And this cable that shows the power is USB 2 compatible, but not USB 3.2 but it does support fast charging with PD 3.0. And here it is showing the power on my iPad, so we can see it's using 30 watts at the moment, and does this agree? Yeah, very similar. So let's check their listing on Amazon to see if there's anything I've forgotten. So I've covered all the modes here, and the connectivity, and the four function display, and the fact that you can power it from the battery, or you can just plug in the USB-C adapter. 2.4 inch color display, so test USB cable continuity, functionality, charging, data transfer, high speed signal and measure internal resistance for power efficiency. Verify ground wire connection to outer shell for cable integrity, safety and shielding. Reads eMarker chip parameters in Type-C cables providing detailed performance information e.g. maximum current, voltage, data transfer rates to help users fully understand cable capabilities and ensure safe, efficient device usage. Be nice if it if it included more of the details. So obviously we can see USB 2 and 3.2, but we don't get USB 3 or 3.1. Uh, we also don't get PD 1 or 2 notifications as well. Although that is pretty old because PD came out. Where is it? I was looking at it here. 2012 is PD 1, and then PD 2 was 2013, so very shortly after and 3.1 came out in 2021, which gave us that 240 watts. 
So thanks to Tridix for sending me this to test. I really like it and it definitely will be handy on my desk and I'll make sure I'm using the fastest cables I've got in the future. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.